Hey friends, I'm Mithi the Pharmacist, lifestyle coach with over 25 years of practical experience. I'm a wife and a mother of three amazing souls and the author of the book, Farm to Fork Meat Riot. Welcome to my food church. So I would like to talk to you today about natural law. Natural law, the law of nature. Natural law falls under universal laws. You know, like gravity, you might have heard of that one. Okay, so there are seven basic principles of natural law. There is mentalism. This means, you know, thoughts become things. Um, so be responsible with your thoughts because your thoughts, they become your reality. Correspondence. Correspondence is, you know, large. If there's a large end, there's a small end. There's above and below the mirror, mirror, mirror um, principle macro micro these are these are the basic seven principles of natural law polarity there's two ends of a stick there's always a positive end and a negative end there's you know uh good and bad um everything has um a dual nature vibration nothing rests even in death you guys we are decomposing so there is constant movement nothing nothing rests rhythm everything flows. Everything flows and everything has tides. Cause and effect. Everything happens um, according to law. Gender. There's the blade, which is the phallic symbol, which is just a basic triangle. It's masculine. There's the feminine gender, which represents the womb, the upside down triangle, you know, or the chalice. Okay. But then there's this eighth principle. It's the hidden principle. It is the principle called the generative principle. This is the seed of life. So the generative principle governs all of creation. It is the causal factor that creates what we say, you know, we want. Like your thinking thoughts that you want to become things, they don't happen. They don't become the things without the generative principle or the seed of life. And the eighth and hidden principle activates and generates all the seven principles here. That principle is also known as care. A lot of folks want to call this compassion, but it's not compassion. That's not what we're talking about. It is care. Care isn't, you know, a lot of people want to call this love also. And while I believe that love is the divine solvent of everything, caring is different. Caring means, you know, like, what are you focused upon? What is your attention being put towards? That is what caring is. So a lot of times people say to you that, you know, like, what is your why? What is your why? When you're trying to, you know, like have a more powerful mindset, they want you to come up with your why. Well, that also means to care. I know. I have a shirt. It says, you know, I don't care. But on the back of it, it says there is great love here for you. I do care. I care about the, I mean, there are a lot of things I do care about. I care about the things that I'm thinking about that I want to manifest. That is part of the mentalism. And if I didn't care about it, I would not be able to manifest that. This has been hidden or occulted. Occult is the Latin term for hidden. Okay. So this eighth principle has been hidden on purpose. Because, you know, there's always this uh, power differential that's being, you know, that, that's happening in the world where there are a few people who are wanting to control the greater population. And so there's a consciousness that is required. There's a consciousness that we need to raise. There is knowledge that is required. If you are interested in creating change, then knowledge and action is required. There are requirements, but those requirements include your recognizing these seven basic principles and also activating them with the eighth principle because natural law is in effect. If you are, um, you know, I know there are a lot of folks out there that are trying to teach people not to pay attention to the things that they don't want. You know, like when you know what you want, you need to know why you want it and you need to focus on that. Well, the only reason that you would know what you want is if you also knew what you didn't want.
So you don't need to ignore that. That would be operating in ignorance. You don't want to ignore the things that you don't want. You need to acknowledge them and then know that that is not what you want. If you know what you want, then you know what you don't want, right? So it's okay. You should know that because knowledge is how you're going to manage to move and manifest the things that you want. You cannot do that without knowledge. Now, a lot of people think that, you know, knowledge is based on um, intelligence and they think that intelligence is based on intellect. Well, that's not really true. The word intelligence, intelligence, the intel part is what represents intellect. Intellect is the masculine side of our brain. It's the left hemisphere of our brain. But gents is the feminine side, intelligence. You need to focus on trying to have holistic intelligence. This is another thing that has been hidden or occulted or not taught. These things have not been taught to us. It's, you know, it, generally people believe that they can either be left hemisphere, you know, thinking people or right hemisphere thinking people or left or right only like brain, you know, people think that, oh, I'm right brain dominant or I'm left brain dominant. Well, you might think it's dominance, but it's an imbalance. You're, you're imbalanced. You should be focusing on developing both sides of the brain. And it is possible for you to do that, especially once you know that that is possible. If you believe it, if you believe it, it's true. If they tell you that you can't do it, then it must be true. And so you won't be able to do that. You won't try to do that. You won't put any action or effort towards doing that. But I am telling you that the left side, the masculine side, the left hemisphere of the brain, also known as the blade, um, the masculine hemisphere, is based on analytical, mathematical, scientific, logical thinking. You know, if you are dominant in the left brain, then you, you know, operate out of control and selfishness and dominance. I don't think this is what anybody's looking for because we all operate out of love, right? We are liquid love. So the right brain people, the feminine side of the brain, the right hemisphere side of the brain is based on compassion, pattern recognition, big picture thinking. You're, this is the creator side, okay? This is uh, where if you are right brain dominant, then that means that you operate under independence, naivety, you're passive, you're submissive. No one wants that either. So develop both sides. You want to operate in the highest form with holistic intelligence. People who are operating with holistic intelligence have the highest form of morality, highest form of grace, of knowing, and of balance. So that is what we're going for. This allows you to more clearly identify and know what you want and why you want it. Know what you want and why you want it. Okay, friends, so today I just want you to take away from this that there is an eighth and hidden principle of natural law, which is called care. You need to care about what you want so you can walk towards that. Also, I want you to remember that there's holistic intelligence and that you should be developing the weaker hemisphere of your brain, whichever it is. Most of us know if we're left or right hemisphere, you know, like operating, try to do the things that help you to develop the other side so that you can operate with more holistic intelligence. Okay, guys, so make sure that you subscribe to my channel, that you like it, you share it, you ding the bell, and you do all the things, and comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. If there's something else, you know, if you have any questions or anything, please um, make sure to write them down below, and I'll get back with you. And join me next time, and we'll go over more of the board.